Hey y'all, it's me, Serena. I am back with another video and guess what day it is? It's Stitch Fix Day. Yep, it is Stitch Fix. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here with me today. I've got another unboxing and try on for you with Stitch Fix. As you know, Stitch Fix is the OG subscription box service or one of the oldest ones. I've been doing it for years. Been doing it for you guys for just a few months now, but uh, Stitch Fix has been around for a while. Um, the way it works is you pay a $20 styling fee. Your stylist picks five items for you, sends them to you to try on at home. You have three business days to try everything on and then put your returns back in the envelope that they provide and um, send them back to you to Stitch Fix free of charge. And um, like I said, the styling fee is $20. That gets applied toward anything that you keep out of your box. And if you keep all five items, you get a 25% discount, which is huge. That, that's a good chunk of change. But you have to keep all five items or you don't get any discount at all. Uh, Stitch Fix has another option called the Style Pass where you pay a one-time annual fee of $49, and that's what I have. That way, I don't have a monthly styling fee. I have the $49 once a year, and that gets applied toward merchandise as well. I did that back in January and bought some things with my credit for my styling uh, pass fee. But that way I don't have the fee every month. They send me a box, so that way if I don't like anything in my box, like last month, I didn't keep a single thing. So I sent it all back. Well, I didn't uh, lose a styling fee because I didn't have to pay one last month. I do that one, one time a year style pass instead. So, um, and if you would like to try Stitch Fix and you haven't, I'll have my link below, my referral link. If you try Stitch Fix going through my link, you will get a $25 credit on your first box and I'll get a credit on my Stitch Fix account as well. So let's see what they sent me this time. Um, my stylist this month was Andrea. She's been my stylist for a while. Hey, Andrea. Um, she has done a really good job for me. I've had months where it was a five for five and I've kept every, everything. And then there've been months where I might keep one item or like last month, I didn't keep any. So you just never know. But um, uh, sis, ugh, I can't talk. Stitch Fix also has, um, an option now where you can shop your look. So you can go on the app or on their website and look at items you've kept from previous fixes and order the same item again. Or you can order items that coordinate with something that you have kept from one of your fixes. And then they also have a uh, shop by category feature now too. So you can go in there and shop by tops or jeans or accessories or what have you so it's not just the subscription box but i think that's the fun way to do it to get a box every month and see what they send so this month they definitely have a theme going it's navy white and green <laughs> but i have to say i don't hate it um because i love white in the summer i love navy as a neutral and um and i like green especially this color green so they sent me a, a pair of white shorts by democracy um a pair of white cropped uh denim these are by cosmic blue love and i've got a couple pairs of white jeans but i don't have any that are cropped and these have the little split at the ankle too so um I'm looking forward to trying these on and seeing how they fit and where they hit, you know, on my leg and just how that looks. Uh, the dress is pretty. This is a sheath dress, which usually works on my body type. Um, this one looks a little bit small. We'll see. Um, it's in a petite, size medium petite. And that is one good thing about Stitch Fix. They do have petites. So if you are 5'4 or, or under like me and need things in petite, especially with dresses or tops, you can request that and, uh, and they will send you things in petite. So this is a petite in medium. I do like the style. It's a nice stretchy fabric. I think it'll be uh, comfy 
and um, this would be cute either with some heels to dress it up or with some flat sandals and a denim jacket even that could be or a white denim jacket that could be really cute the two tops they sent uh, this one is by Daniel Rain and it's in a size petite small it's a mixed media <laughs> they love their mixed media tops at Stitch Fix uh, the back is a knit material, like a thin t-shirt material, while the front is kind of a crepey material, and it has these embossed or cut out, almost embroidered looking medallions on there. And then the other blouse, this is by Beacon, and it's also a petite and a size small. And... Um, the colors in this are interesting. It, I think it'll look good with white, but then it's also got this khaki color. I could see this blouse, you know, working into the fall because especially around here, you know, it doesn't get cool here, sweater weather until November. So we always want to move into fall clothes and fall colors, but the temperature still says summer. So the way we usually handle it in the South is we move toward more fall colors. Um, so something like this I would wear, you know, on those hot fall days when it feels like summer, but the calendar says fall. Um, this could definitely work into the fall as well. I just feel like I've seen this blouse a bajillion times. You know, it's, it's the v-neck and it's got the one pleat right here. And uh, I don't know, have you guys just, are you tired of this style? I don't know. I feel like this is something that's just been around and around forever. But we will try it on and see. So those are my items. Give me a second. I'll be right back with first try on. Okay, first outfit. This is the Daniel Rain embroidered or cut out whatever top. Mixed media knit in the back. The front actually has two layers. It's got a lining and then it's got this layer that has see the cutouts. Um, and the shorts are by Democracy. They're very stretchy. They're longer. This is a seven inch inseam on the shorts. They're the Absolution uh, technology. So they've got the stretchy waistband that doesn't gap out anywhere. Um, I don't hate this outfit. I actually like this outfit. But, there's always a but. Um, this top, it fits me great, um, because it is a petite, the armholes aren't too big, it isn't too long, it hits at a nice spot here at the hip, um, but it's got one of those daggone keyholes in the back with one of those little buttons with a little elastic loop that's so aggravating to get over that button, and I put my head through the neck hole and I spun it around to the front so I could do it here in the front instead of in the back. And it was still hard to do, you know? I've got to want to wear something really bad to want to fool with all that. And if, I, if I'm in the hurry, in a hurry to get out of the house one day, I'm not gonna want to fool with that. Or I'll get flustered real easy because I'll get stressed out because I'm trying to hurry and I won't be able to do it. And I know that about myself. So, <laughs> I do like the top, but that right there is just a big strike against it. And I think this would be cute with jeans. I could wear this for work and wear it with white pants, even white denim, and dress it up with jewelry and whatnot. And this would be perfect for me to wear for work in the summer. I've just got to weigh my options and see if that little, if it's worth that aggravating little button and elastic loop in the back. The other thing that's a negative against this top is the price. This uh, this little top is $68, and I think that's a lot, especially considering I saw a Daniel Rain top at TJ Maxx last week for $16.99. No kidding. I don't remember what it looked like. It wasn't something that I, you know, wanted to buy, but I was just flipping through the racks, and I was like, Daniel Rain at TJ Maxx, $16.99. So that, that makes it really hard for me to want to pay $68 for this, which is full price. And the only way I would get a discount is if I keep everything in the box. And I don't know if I'm going to do that. So we'll see how much I like the other items. 
the shorts. These are a size six in the Absolution uh, by Democracy. I like them, but I can't decide if I like them enough to keep them. And um, spoiler alert, if you saw my Transcend video from earlier in the week, uh, I decided not to keep those white A Goldie shorts. Um, I liked them, but I did not like them enough to spend that money. They, even with my discount, they were still gonna be $90. And that's a lot. Um, these are a totally different style. These are, you know, Bermuda length and they, um, they are not wide. I mean, they're not super tight, but they're stretchy, so they're more fitted to my thigh. They're not uncomfortable because of all the stretch, but I've just got to decide if I like the look of these. I think they can be dressed up a little bit more with a longer length. And of course, they don't have a, a, a cut off hem. Um, but I don't know, let me know what you think. And this cuff can be unrolled, but then they get to be really long. Like, then they're down. Yeah, that doesn't really look good. And they are super comfy. Let's see, the price on these is 64. So they're not cheap either. And I'm going to be paying that $64 unless I keep all five items and get a 25% discount. So let me know what you think about these and the top. And I'm going to change into the next outfit. Okay, next outfit. And I have to say, I don't hate this top. Um, it fits me great. Armholes are great. I like a V-neck like the V-neck more than the higher neckline on the other top. It's just a pull on, no button, no loop, no weird anything in the back. The floral pattern is nice. Um, it looks good with white, but these jeans are a no. And I was hoping that these were gonna be more of a straight leg at the bottom, a, a cropped straight leg. Um, but they're not. They are skinny, skinny, skinny. And they have that little uh, slit right there on the sides. I don't know. They remind me of old-timey pedal pushers. And wh where they end, I'm just not crazy about the length. I mean, they, I feel like these look like old lady capris. And you guys know what I'm talking about. And... I'm not interested in wearing anything like that just yet. Um, they are super stretchy and would be very comfortable. These are by Cosmic Blue Love. So, and let's see, this blouse does have the pattern all the way around. Some of the Stitch Fix tops have the pattern in the front and then the back is solid. This one actually has it all the way around. Um, but yeah, let's, let's check prices on this stuff. Um, the top, top is a much better price on this one. This is the Alicia Pleat Detail Knit Top by Beacon. It's $38, so that's not bad. Um, the jeans, whoo, yeah, there's no way I would keep these jeans. Well, they're in a six petite. See, and these I probably would have been fine with a six regular since they're cropped. That's me and my weird height. I usually need petite, but if it's a cropped version in a petite, they always end up being too short on me and they end at an awkward, unflattering place. But these are the Milo Side Split Capri Skinnies for $88. No, mm -mm. No way, no way. Um, so, let me know what you think about the top. The jeans are a no, but I could put this on with the other white jeans I have and, and have a good looking outfit for, uh, for work or whatever. Just let me know what you think. And you could really bring out the tan in this and it would be pretty. I've got on just these black uh, flip flops, but 
you know, my tan um, sandals or a tan purse I have that's kind of this color, put that with it, and that would be a really nice looking outfit, I think, without a whole lot of effort. So, top's not bad. Um, let me get changed into the last item, which is that dress, and I'll be right back. Okay, last item is this dress. The dress is by Magnolia Grace, and it's the Alhambra embroidered something. Embroidered something dress. It's cut off on the, on the invoice there, so I don't know what the rest of the name is. Um, okay, there are things I like about this dress. I like the color. I like the pattern. I like the style and silhouette of it, meaning I like um, the way the straps are up here. I like the fact that it's, it's just a sheath dress or a shift dress, I guess. Um, and those typically work on me. This is in a petite, is it a petite, medium, or small? It's in a petite medium. It's $74, which is not horrible for a dress. Um, it's not lined or anything. It's kind of just made out of slick jersey material. I'm sure it's polyester. Um, but I like the pattern. It's I don't know if you can see this. is not just white. It's also got some pink in there, too. Oh, but did you see the problem? Yeah. It's too small through the bust. Um, it's making this whole neckline go wavy and wonky because it's too too small here and then when you're looking from this angle look hello you're looking right in there at my bra doesn't do it from this side but this is the side with the this is on top and so it just pulls and gaps out I mean yeah if I loved the dress that much I could do some um, fabric tape and tape it down like that yeah I could do that and that would make it work, make it stick down. Um, but I think because it is pulling in the bust, it's pulling these armholes forward. And so it's showing some bra on the sides too. And it made me wonder what kind of bra would I wear with this? Um, it would have to be a strapless bra because I don't think I have any kind of bra because the way this neckline comes around right here, a normal bra is going to show unless, well, I could clip, I could get one of those clips and clip my bra straps together. Even so, just between this pulling across here and then showing bra here on the sides, I'm just going to pass. Even though I do think it's a pretty dress, I think it's cute. I like the color um, and I do like the style of it. And I put it on with these little braided uh, nude heels, which I think are pretty. And uh, just a little nude crossbody purse would be pretty with this or white if you have a white bag. Um, so anyway, I think this is a thumbs down. So that's my stitch fix this month. Let me know what do you think. How do you think she did? Um, I think she did a good job picking some items. Um, but there are just some issues. The dress is a no because of some fit issues. These pants are no because I don't like how skinny they are and where they uh, hit on my leg was not really at a flattering spot. This little top I actually liked more than I thought I would. It's very comfy. It would be a very easy top to throw on and go and look, you know, semi pulled together without a lot of effort. Uh, this top is just too expensive and I don't like the little button in the back that I would have to fool with every time I wore it. The shorts. I'm thinking about these shorts. Unless you see something about these that you think, and I'll watch the footage back, of course, and see what I think then. But um, let me know what you think about these shorts. I'm actually thinking about keeping these maybe. I don't know. I can't decide. I cannot decide. Um, so I need your guys' help. Let me know what you think. 
and um, if I keep anything from this box, it will be the shorts and or this top. I may just keep this top. I don't know. So that's another stitch fix. It is stitch fix number 16 for me. So uh, thank you guys for joining me today. And remember, if you want to try stitch fix, uh, click on my link below and you'll be taken there and you can sign up and get a $25 credit on your first box. Also, check out my link to Rakuten so you can start earning cash back on all your online shopping or 90 something percent of your online shopping. Uh, you can earn cash back through Rakuten. And if you sign up using my link, you can get a $30 credit when you make your first purchase. So, or not a credit, a rebate, like an additional $30 rebate on your first purchase. So that's always good to get free money. So um, thank you guys again for joining me. I hope you found this video helpful or enjoyable. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please hit that red subscribe button if you haven't. And until I see you guys next time, have a stylish day. Bye-bye.